Does birth control have a weight limit? I'm an OBGYN and I'm gonna answer that question today, so let's get going. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jen Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator. This channel is the health class you wish you had in high school. Go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. I get asked this all the time. The birth control pill, does the shot, is it not gonna work as well if I'm of a higher weight? And rather than just one blanket answer, I wanna break that down for you. There is a lot of misinformation about birth control. Like there is no shortage. And so I have got a ton of content about birth control in this playlist here on my channel. So. Feel free to just go down the rabbit hole of good information. And I will always have references and resources in my show notes here. So is birth control a one size fits all? And the answer is yes and no. Birth control is meant to be effective across a wide range of body sizes, but it's natural to wonder if your weight might influence the effectiveness. So I'm going to break it down by method. I want you to know that I'm not going to be talking about the morning after pills, which weight definitely affects. And so I want you to go ahead and watch that video here. And I'm also not going to be covering abortion pills, which quick answer, no, it doesn't change the effectiveness, but if you want more information, you can also go here. So let's first talk about the combined birth control pill. This has some combination of estrogen and progestin in it to prevent pregnancy. There are many different kinds of pills out there. Studies have actually been conflicting on whether or not these are as effective at higher weights which is really annoying. I would love to just give you a yes or no answer. The one key takeaway I would want you to know is that there's one particular combination where they may not work as effectively if you have a BMI over 25. These are pills that are ethanol estradiol and norethindrone. So for example, low estrin. Data has actually shown they might be twice as likely to fail if you have a BMI of over 25. And a quick note on BMI, it's not perfect, right? You can have a BMI of 30 and have a lot of muscle or have a BMI of 30 and have not so much muscle. So I know it's frustrating. It's the best that we have right now. So I'm just using those markers. And why might these not work as well? It's based on the altered metabolism if you have higher level of fat in your body. So the bottom line when it comes to combined birth control pills, there's probably not a huge effect, but stay away from versions like low estrin if you have a concern and your BMI is over 25. Moving on to the progestin only pill or what some people call the mini pill, like it sounds like it only has progestin in it. And we do not have data to show that your weight affects how well these work. Their primary mechanism of action is thickening the cervical mucus and we don't see a change. Moving on to LARCs or long acting reversible contraception. This includes the IUDs, both the hormonal and non-hormonal and the arm implant or Nexplanon. Overall, these are the most effective form of birth control that we have other than tying your tubes. So I should say the most effective reversible birth control for everybody, regardless of of your weight. And if you want to know what is the most effective form of birth control, most likely in people of higher weights, it is definitely these. Like I said, I have a ton of content on this. So go ahead. You can check this playlist, get all your questions, especially all the myths related to these answered. And you can decide if they're methods that are right for you. I do want to talk about the birth control patch because this is some where we have some data that your weight might play a role in this. There's two types of birth control patches available in the US. The first one is Zulane, which to me sounds like Zoolander and also Tulane, which is where I went to med school. It's a weird name, but whatever. And on their website, they state that it may be less effective at or above 198 pounds, or if you have a BMI of over 30. So they actually say on their website that this patch is only for people with a BMI less than 30. It doesn't mean you can't use it if your BMI is higher than that. It just may be less effective. However, if this is the method that you wanna use, like the only one you can tolerate, it is absolutely better than nothing. So it's worth a conversation with your healthcare provider. The other birth control patch is called Twirla, which just sounds like, tw I don't know. Birth control names are very weird, like let's be real. So they also say on their website that this is an option for people with a BMI of less than 30. Studies have shown that it may be less effective if your BMI is between 25 and 30 and is less effective for a BMI less over 30. So. Again, doesn't mean you can't use it, but it may not be the best method for you. Okay, the last two forms that I'm gonna talk about are the Depo shot, or it's a once every three months shot. No difference there when it comes to weight. And also the vaginal ring. And there are two different kinds of rings that you can put in the vagina. One that you put in, you can leave for three to four weeks, and then you use a new ring after that. That's called the Nuva ring or Anovera, which is a similar pattern, but you can use the same ring for 13 menstrual cycles. Either way, they're both effective and there has been no data to show that if you are at a higher BMI or a higher weight, that they will be less effective. Okay, bottom line, for most birth control methods, weight does not have a huge 
impact, if any at all. However, the two things that do stand out are the birth control patches and birth control pills like Loestrian that have that norethindrone and ethanol estradiol. So what should you do if you're not sure? Talk to your doctor or your healthcare provider to figure out what method is best for you because it's not always about effectiveness. It's about the method that you tolerate side effects or you can actually use. If you can't remember to take a pill every day or put a patch on every day, those might not be the best for you. So go ahead, chat with us. Know that sometimes it's a bit of trial and error and together we can figure out what works for you. But don't let anybody body shame you throughout any of these conversations. Go ahead and drop your questions or thoughts in the comment section below. Check out my references and resources. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, happy, and protected. Bye-bye.